Armed Services Committee, a gentleman from California, Buck McKeon. Thank you, Eric, Chairman Spence, Ambassador Bold. Thank you for being here, my other colleagues, and thanks to all of you for, for being here. I'm very concerned about Iran's continued belligerent behavior. Iran's actions pose a threat to peace and stability in the region and have repercussions on global security. Three rounds of National Security Council economic and diplomatic sanctions have not prevented Iran from continuing their uranium enrichment and reprocessing related activities. The Obama administration must make clear that any engagement with Iran must address Iran's nuclear program. There can't be talks just for talk's sakes. They must be productive. Time for Iran has run out. Our patience has run out. We must push for tougher sanctions that impose a high cost on Tehran, and all options must be on the table, including military. We can't afford to negotiate against ourselves. In parallel with any engagement effort the administration may pursue, we must pressure the Iranians on the economic and security front. We must fund missile defense capabilities that protect the United States, our former deployed forces, and our allies. This, more than engagement, will shape Iranian behavior. Additionally, we need to increase our attention on all aspects of the Iranian military. The National Defense Authorization Act that was passed out of the House of Representatives included a provision that Republicans inserted to ensure we understand the military of the Iranian regime. The Iran Military Power Report would require the Secretary of Defense to submit an annual report to Congress on the current and future military strategy of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The report would include, in, include information related to Iran's strategy, an assessment of their conventional capabilities, an assessment of Iran's unconventional capabilities, including special ops forces and terrorist proxies, and an assessment of Iranian capabilities related to nuclear capabilities and missile forces. We need that report. We need it annually. By requiring the Pentagon to produce this report, our hope is that our nation and countries around the world will gain better insight on the true intentions of Iran. Thank you.